Well, we have this for you. We want you to check your pantries, a chemical linked to a variety of diseases such as breast cancer, diabetes, and obesity, and that's no longer used in many plastic toys and bottles, is still in many canned food items. A consumer advocacy group is now pushing to have it taken out of the canned linings. Consumer reporter Steve Sprasia is digging deeper into the use of BPA. Metal cans. They are a great convenience to all of us. Cans are lined to prevent corrosion or harmful bacteria from getting inside the cans. But some say when this lining is made of a chemical known as BPA, it poses a risk to all of us. Bisphenol A, known as BPA, originally was developed as an estrogen therapy. Later, it was discovered it could be used to improve plastics. It actually makes plastic clear and hard. But studies show that BPA can leach out of can linings and into food. It mimics our hormones, and that's why it causes those diseases. Some people are wary of canned goods because of that. I try to monitor how much I eat in a can and try to keep it minimal. BPA became such a concern that it's no longer used in water bottles, baby products, and toys. But a study by the Center for Environmental Health found that lots of cans purchased here in North Carolina and 10 other states have linings that are enhanced with BPA. We tested 250 cans and we found that 40% of the cans still contain BPA. The canning industry points to an FDA study saying that linings with BPA have been deemed safe by regulatory agencies around the world. Cans with non-BPA liners are now appearing on store shelves, but some worry that the alternatives might not be safe. I'm hoping that whatever they're using now is better than the BPA, but I, I'm never quite sure. If you're worried about BPA in can lining, some suggest you use frozen foods in place of canned goods whenever possible or eat more fresh foods. If you would like to dig deeper into all this, I have put links in today's web story to the Center for Environmental Health's CAN study, the industry's response, as well as the FDA report. Check them out. I'm Steve Sprasier, CBS, North Carolina.